Goedemorgen allemaal, good morning. A very special day. Now we are really starting with our new opera, Animal Farm. It's a big project. We've been working on it for five years. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Raskatov and Damiano Michieletto. Okay, so we have a lot of applause today. Let's hope we have the same applause <laughs> at the end. <laughs> the opera is about the story of George Orwell. Uh, it's a famous novel and it's an allegorical tale about a group of animals living in a farm and that they dream to make a revolution and they actually get the power. The problem is what happens once you get the power. Now listen to me. All questions relating to the farm. When George Orwell wrote the story, he made many parallels with Soviet Union and uh, the communism and the capitalism, having also allegorical references to Stalin, Trotsky and Marx as the characters. So the idea of the story is that we are in a slaughterhouse where these animals have to be killed, basically. Which is precisely what happened to the animal in the story of Orwell, of Animal Farm. They suffer, they want to escape, they want to make a revolution. Let's take from when you are up and you sing and you come down. You know, when you are in that position there. Slaughterhouse is more of my concept because also in the story it's written in a farm. And then they stop this and they start marching, I would say. I try to find a concept which for me it's very symbolic and also very quick to understand. And the first challenge was to create this portrait of animals. The mask is a kind of uniform also. I have to have the mask, I have to be, be this animal. But the idea is that I would like to take off the mask in the sense that I would like to be free. The look of the mask is dramatic. It's not funny, it's not smiling, it's not cartoon-like mask. It's more a mask of a prisoner in a cage. All the masks are made with a metal frame. It's a metal frame connected. And the iron frame is rusted. It gives a kind of dramatic portrait of these animals. And this frame is covered with a net. That was a very long work because you have to tie the net, keeping the shape, also the ears of the animals. And the net is painted. And then there are two eyes, a little bit higher, so the visibility is, is granted. We wanted to have a strong impact with the concept of this animal and this farm. So the beginning, the set has a big door, like a wall, and later we reveal what is inside this place. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. Today we are here in the workshop, checking for the first time the set. And for the set design, uh, is an important date because your idea becomes real for the first time. This is yeah. the light. The light one, okay. When I think about set, I don't think about pieces of wood or metal, but I think about emotion. For me, set is like a space. Set is like a character. The big challenge for me is to create this marble box because I want to have a double face of the set. One part is the slaughterhouse, really cruel, but on the other side, this marble can be a wall of the luxury living room. You can see the same set in two ways. I have an inspiration in a place in Rome for create this set, a real uh, Zlote house that now is uh, a museum. And I love to have uh, some connection with the reality, but something that not exist. Because I think if you put this element that is complete an invention, we can open the mind of the audience. And in this case, this place in Rome helped me. It's starting from a place of sufferance where there is 
a need of a revolution. And at the end, it looks that everything has changed, but in reality, nothing has really changed. When we start working, we will face a lot of problems, I'm sure. <laughs> and solution, of course, we will find every time. I take this as a big challenge and we will overcome all the problems. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>